Hello, thanks for watching this video. Hukui Sustainability Matters. This topic is EAP2, Energy and Atmosphere Prerequisite 2, Minimum Energy Performance. I suggest you write down, refer to EAC2, page 405 nearby this prerequisite title on your lead reference guide. First of all, identify the climate zone of your project. If your project is not in the US, you still may check the necessary standard to locate them. ANSI slash Azure slash ISNA standard 90.1-2010 Appendices B and D to determine the appropriate climate zone. This standard is extremely important here. I think you can Understand that by it involves three associations. NSI American National Standards Institute, Ashury, American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers, IESNA, Illuminating Engineering Society of North America. There are three options in this prerequisite, and they affect EAC2 in the future that I will explain. Option one, core building energy simulation. The same standard, 90.1-2010 Appendix G with ILATA or USGBC approved equivalent standard for project outside the US. You must adopt a simulation tool to generate your proposed building performance renting and compare it to baseline performance renting. At least you need to save 5% for new construction, 3% for major renovation, and 2% for, en for core and shell. Under some circumstances, you may have different unregulated laws between your proposed case and the baseline case. Then you may follow the exceptional calculation method for the same standard G 2.5 section or adopt combinate modeling guidelines and uh, procedures. Comment C O M N E T stands for Commercial Energy Services Network. The abbreviation sounds weird but is correct. Option two, prescriptive compliance, actually 50% AEDG. First, you must comply with the mandatory and the prospective provisions of this standard, 90.1-2010. Also, comply with the HVAC and servers, water heating requirements and equipment efficiency in Chapter 4, design strategies and recommendations by climate zone, actually 50% advanced energy design guide. Although your project may be not in the US, but as I mentioned before, you could check the same standard 
90.1-2010, Appendix B and D to determine its climate zone. Option 3, Perspective Compliance, Advanced Buildings Core Performance Guide. This is only apply for projects less than 100,000 square feet and is not apply for healthcare warehouse laboratory project. First, comply with the mandatory and prospective provisions of this standard 90.1-2010 and section 1 to 3. For section 3, 3.5, 8, and 10, let me put them on screen. And one thing important is you must adopt Energy Star's target finder. This is the web best tool you may find online. You use this tool to establish the energy performance target and it must greater than a score of 90. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.